This week, I pray that we let God guide us. In Psalms 34, verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord, and God answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I pray today that you don't get caught up in a whirlwind of activities, that no matter what is going on this week, that you let God guide you. And perhaps your thoughts move from decisions to details to people who seem to need your attention and time, but you'll always come back this week to letting God guide you first. When you feel that you have too much uh, to do, not enough time to do it, well, you allow yourself a moment to relax. You allow yourself the luxury and the privilege of going to God in prayer, to become quiet and to pray again for that guidance and to let God in, in your total consenting, let God guide you to the very best in your week. The presence of God will guide you in making right decisions. This pause from daily activities is like a breath of fresh air. It revitalizes you at the core of your being. Praise God for the good that you see in every activity and in every person. In the most active times, you will feel a great confidence coming through you. You'll feel renewed and you'll know what to do. You'll know how to do it because God is telling you and sharing with you the highest and best path. The presence of God illumines you, instills you with confidence, guides your way. I pray this week that the presence of God illumines you. I pray this week that the presence of God instills you with confidence. I pray this week that God guide your way.